Hello, friends and family. Welcome back to Behind Closed Doors with your host, Mildred. Today's tip of the day is curtains. We will be discussing how to hang curtains and how to purchase curtains. And I have a couple of other ideas for you guys. Okay, so tonight we're starting in my bedroom. And in this space, as you can see behind me, I have these beautiful curtains. These curtains I purchased from TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Shoes. I love um, Home Goods, my favorite store. I love it. Um, the reason I like to purchase my curtains from there is because they have a variety of style. They have name brand for reasonable prices. You can find curtains anywhere from $9.99 to $49.99, okay? But however, before you head on over to those stores from the excitement for me, I need you to do one thing. I need you to measure your windows always measure your windows prior to going shopping for window treatments okay in this case when I purchased these curtains what I did was I measured from the ceiling to the floor I measured from the top where I wanted my curtains to start at and to end at me I am a floor draping chick so I love my windows. I love my window treatments to go from the ceiling to the floor. However, in this case, they had to go a little below the top of the ceiling because I have these little decorative balls on the end of my curtain rods, which wouldn't allow me to put the curtains on if I put them up too high. So I had to bring them down just to tap it. But remember, the recommended is four to six inches above the top of your window is where you originally want your rod to start from. In this case, mine is eight inches above the top of my window because my windows are shorter. And I know a lot of people living in the New York area have these tall, slender windows. If you want them to look wide and luxurious and from the ceiling to the floor, then place your rods accordingly, okay? So the first thing you would need to do is, give me one moment here while I adjust this camera. What you would need to do is measure from the top of your rod, where you want your rod to start, all the way down to the floor. So you take it all the way down to the floor. And in some cases, some people want to measure um, the width of the window and you'll measure from one width to the other to determine the size of panels, the panel sizes you would need. So just be very careful when you head into the stores to read the packaging. Make sure that they're the right length and the width. And sometimes the width really doesn't matter, um, but in some cases it, it does because some of them have um, shorter widths, which means you need to purchase more panels. The average um, panels that come in a package is usually two. Some stores you may have, you might have to only have one panel, so make sure you read, or four panels to a package. But the standard is usually two panels to a package. And two panels would be like these two guys here. This will be in a package. One, two of these will be in a package, all right, as a standard panel, okay? Um, like I received these, like I got these in a package. It was two of these in a package. I believe I paid $29.99 for a package of two for these curtains. These are beautiful. Um, I believe they are DKNY, my girl, I love it. <laughs> yes, um, so these are also two in a pack. And if you look at them, they're about the same size as the other ones. They may be a little slim, um, slender in size. However, if you notice, 
I mix the curtains. I love mixing and just trying different things, putting prints with solids, put, putting solids with solids, putting different solid prints with different solid prints, whatever draws your eyes. If you like colors, you go with colorful curtains. If you like lighter um, colors, you go with light color curtains. Usually it depends on how you want your room to feel. If you want it to feel cozy, especially now the winter is coming in and the fall weather, you may want a darker shade. You may want blues, like I have these beautiful blue um, sheer DKNY curtains here, linen um, fabric here. Um, you may want colors like this versus um, whites and creamy textures that give the room more of an airy feeling or more of a zen feeling, refreshing feeling. So it all depends on how you want your space to feel and look. Just make sure that it is appealing to your eyes, okay? Um, the second thing is that those curtains come in three sizes. Um, you can get them anywhere in between 84 inches, I believe, 84 inches. Then they have some between 95, 96 inch, and then some of them 103 inches. And this is in length the length wise. So that's why it's so important to measure and to read the packages. You don't want to get home like I did and pick the wrong size curtains. Then they're too short for your window or they're not what you wanted and you want to take them back. Then you don't have enough of them. You have to go back and get another pack because it's not giving you that full gather look. You know, you want it, if you want it to be gathery, then you need more panels. If you want it to just be straight across, then you don't need um, a lot of panels. You may only need one or two, depending on the width of your window. So be sure to measure, um, pick colors based on the feel you want in your room, okay? Now, in speaking of curtains. I know you're saying to yourself, why does she have these black curtains next to these beautiful curtains? First of all, the curtains look black, <laughs> but they're blue. They're these beautiful blue ones that I showed you. They're this color blue. Very beautiful. Those are the ones I went to the store and I didn't look at the package, but I love the color because they matched my accent wall. I got home and I realized that they did not fit my window the way I wanted to fit them. So I just fold them up, put them back on this beautiful hanger because they all come on these beautiful hangers and I just tuck them into my closet, okay? So, in speaking about these hangers, hold on one moment, I wanna show you something. Okay, Golden Keys, I'm back. I wanted to show you something. Um, whenever I purchase curtains from TJ Maxx, Marshalls and stuff, they always come on those hangers, right? These are the hangers. I purchased some Lauren, Laura Ashley curtains before and it came on this beautiful hanger. And what I do is I keep these hangers and I use them in my bathroom to hang my towels and my rags on. You can use them for your children and have them hang their towels and rags on them once they're out of the shower or the tub and they can just place them on to the curtain rod in the bathroom, the shower curtain rod, and for the next use until they dry out, you know, they're still wet, so then they'll dry you off and stuff. So you can hold on to those. They come in handy, even when you do laundry, if you have indoor um, laundry um, system in your home, you can use those to hang wet clothes on. So never throw those away. You can always use them. You can use them for the same curtains or when you change out curtains so that you can hang your drapery away in your closet. So they always come in handy. Now that we are in my bathroom as well, see I hang the rags on them. Another thing you can do with curtains is you can hang them inside of your bathroom. Yes, it is okay. It's the style. It's the trend.
trend, okay? You can hang them in your bathroom, okay? What you do is you get two sets of rods. You get one rod for your shower curtain, and then you have a second rod for your drapery curtains. And that just adds a little sexy thing to the <laughs> to the bathroom, you know? It gives it a nice um, feel of, of, of what they call it now. They call it glam. It gives it that glam feeling. Okay, so that's what I did in this case. I came in here to show you, you buy extension rods, shower curtain rods. This is a decorative one here. I hope you're seeing this camera is kind of out of focus. There we go, we're back. Um, you'll, this one is a decorative one. So they come in decorative or they come in white. It doesn't matter. Um, the decorative one you want to use probably for this part here, the shower curtain part, um, because that's exactly what it is. But it also, what you can do is purchase these little beauties here. I'm going to take one off so you can see. These are double-sided hooks where you can hang one side the plastic and one side the cloth shower curtain in one, okay? So one is just behind the other. So that's another little tip you can do and in adding curtains. You can use nice shiny curtains like these or you can even have sheer curtains, the ones I hung on this side. Hold on, let me turn the camera around so you can see. You can have these sheer ones here and you just hang it above. Because I have tall ceilings in here, as you can see, it goes all the way up. I couldn't really give you the look that I was trying to give you guys on this um, video. However, I am going to do a video for a bathroom makeover and you will see the outcome of how it's supposed to look. But these are just short tips for you guys when you're out there purchasing um, curtains. You can now purchase them for your bathroom, your shower area to give it a different feel. Just put some tie backs on them, you know, and uh, if you don't like, um, if you don't like the white part there, you take um, a stocking or anything of that same color and you put it through, you push it through the rod to hide the white, to blend it into whatever color you want it to be, okay? So thank you guys for stopping by to Behind Closed Doors with your host Mildred for the tip of the day and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Oh, oh, wait a minute. One more thing. One more thing. Come on over here with me. I want to give away these beautiful DKNY. Let me put some light on there for you. These beautiful linen DKMY curtains. I want to give them away to someone. And what I need for you to do is email me at the email address that's in my um, YouTube page profile. There's an email address there. So find that email address, email me, that you want these curtains with the um, emoji, the golden key. The golden key, the little gold key, put the emoji gold key there and say you want these curtains. And then um, leave your information, I will reach out to you and I will send you these beautiful curtains. These curtains are 84 inches, so be sure to measure your windows before you request them, okay? They are 84 inches long. They are DKNY curtains. They come with two panels, okay? And I will be giving away stuff here and there, so just stay tuned for my videos, okay? And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the word subscribe, press that button 
that bell, ding, 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 so you will get notifications of when I upload videos. And be sure to watch out for the first video for this channel, October 7th, 2019. I look forward to seeing you, share my videos, tell friends about my videos, invite them over to my page. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate all the comments I've been getting, all of the um, feedback saying how these little tricks and um, tips are working for you guys. Thank you so much for being supportive and I look forward to seeing you soon, okay? So stay tuned for my next tip of the day and just remember, subscribe, please, subscribe. I have a goal in mind and I'm trying to reach that goal. So please subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.